So when you're carrying out organic tests, there are a series of different test reactions to do. So I'm going to show you how to identify <laughs> amines, carboxylic acids, ketones, aldehydes and alcohol, primary alcohols using some basic testing. So the first thing I've done is I've taken a spotting tile and I've added five drops of each of the groups. And I'm going to try or work out what the pH is, because this can be used to identify first one is the amine. I'm going to put in the pH paper. And it's coming off around probably between pH 9 and pH 10, the slight green. Um, this means that it's alkaline. The next one is our carboxylic acid. I'll put it in. And from the color, it's around pH 3. So this is acidic. The one after is our keto. Just to put it in. And our ketone is around pH 7, so neutral. Fourth one is our aldehyde. And again, it's coming out around neutral. And our final one is our alcohol. And again, pH 7, so around neutral. So based on this, I can now use some information. So the only group that is alkali is the amine. Then acidic we have the carboxylic acid, the aldehyde was also slightly coloured, so we'd count that as it could be acidic. Um, so I'm going to do further testing on the two of them as acids, and then the alcohol and the ketone are neutral. So from the pH test we were able to identify our, our amine, so I'm not doing anything further with that. But now I want to try and work out which is actually our carboxylic acid. So I've added some sodium bicarbonate to the bottom of two test tubes. And I'm just going to show you the reaction that happens with the carboxylic acid and then I'll show you what happens when you add an aldehyde. So. I'm just taking the carboxylic acid first mm -hmm. and you can see there's a lot of fizzing or effervescence Then gonna do the same with the aldehyde. I'm just gonna pour a little bit in. And so what do you notice about the reaction of sodium bicarbonate with the um, aldehyde compared to the carboxylic acid? So the first test that we're going to perform on the ketone, alcohol and aldehyde is to add it to some Brady's reaction. So I've already put some Brady's reaction in the test tube and then I'm just going to add a bit of the ketone to the first one. We'll see. So what did you observe? Is there any reaction? I'll now add some of the alcohol. And again, what did you observe? Was there any reaction? And finally, add a little bit of the aldehyde. And again, what did you observe? Was there any reaction?
So again, into three test tubes, I've measured out some felling solution. I'm going to start again with the keto. So I add some keto. What do you observe? Is there any reaction? I add some alcohol to the next one. And again, can you see any reaction? And finally, I'll add some aldehyde. So it's hard to see on the camera, but there is a blue precipitate has formed in this final solution. The other two have remained exactly the same as the original felling solution. Into the test tube, I've, it has to be acidified. So I've added sulfuric acid, dilute sulfuric acid to a bit of a potassium dichromate solution. And now, as before, I'm going to add the three solutions. Firstly, I'll add the keto. And again, what do you observe? Is there any reaction? Next, I'm going to add the alcohol. And finally, I'll add some of the aldehyde. And again, what reaction do you observe for the three? And how could this be used to differentiate between them? So that's just shown you a few of the reactions and based on this you should be able to identify your amine, carboxylic acid, ketone, alcohol and aldehyde in a solution.